Welcome to Minutas Math Channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the solution of the module question paper which is being uploaded in the VTU website for the subject DDCO that is Digital Design and Computer Organization. The subject code is BCS302. Here I have taken the first question and in that the first sub question A. Demonstrate the non-associativity of the NOR gate. Okay. Here they are asking us to explain the non-associativity of the NOR gate. Okay. We all know the symbol of the NOR gate is or the NOR gate it is nothing but an OR gate followed by a NOT gate. This is the symbol right and the logical expression for the NOR gate is A plus B whole bar. Fine and this is the symbol for the NOR gate. Okay, whereas for the AND gate, the up arrow is the symbol. Fine, they are asking us to prove this non-associativity that is these two equations are not equal. Okay, A NOR gate B of C, it is not associative or it is not equal to A of B of C. Okay, where the symbol what we are using, it is for the NOR gate. Fine. To solve this we can demonstrate this by using two methods either we can use the truth table method or we can use the uh, by taking these and considering LHS and simplifying the LHS by using some basic rules okay so first method I am showing here the LHS I have taken the LHS is A or sorry A nor B nor C so according to the order of precedence the things what is there inside the bracket that's, that must be for, uh, solved first so I have taken these two okay so what is the symbol A it is nor gate B A nor gate B it is nothing but A plus B whole bar right so A plus B whole bar and then this nor gate C so this answer supposed to be nor with this one so this as it is plus this one in this in this case while considering these three we have to consider this as single okay so let me write one more time okay a nor b nor c so first let me solve the things which are there in the bracket first so it is a plus b bar okay this the symbol or sorry nor c okay now in the place of a what is there in the place of a a plus b whole bar is there in the place of b c is there right so if i write like this it is a x or b which is equal to logically we can write it as a plus b whole bar so if i use the same in place of a what is there a plus b whole bar so i'll write a plus b whole bar so plus i'm removing this symbol so i'm writing plus and then in place of b what is there c so c when i remove this i have to put a whole bar so this is whole bar okay now use the de morgan's theorem okay use the de morgan's theorem to simplify this something whole bar okay which is equal to the sum of the complement of a sum of the terms is equal to the complement of individual terms that terms must be in the product form okay so what it will become it is a plus b this bar whole bar into c bar okay whole bar gets cancelled so it will be a plus b into c bar fine next let us take the rhs so, let us take the rhs what is rhs a nor b nor of c if i solve b nor of c first what it will become a, a nor let it be like that only why i am solving this order of precedence okay so b plus c whole bar okay next see use the same rule a 
nor b which is equal to a plus b whole bar so in place of a a is there in place of b b plus c whole bar is there so a plus b plus c whole bar whole bar this whole bar i wrote just now okay next which is equal to when i use the de morgan's theorem it will be equal to a bar into b plus c whole bar is there we are splitting that bar so it will become this okay so next it is a bar into b plus c whole bar whole bar these two gets cancelled complement of a complement so it is a bar into b plus c c in the right hand side what we have got in the right hand side we have got a plus b into c bar in the left hand side it is a bar into b plus c okay these two are equal is these two equal no right these two are not equal okay this one and this one these two are not equal so this proves the non associativity of the nor gate okay in the examination they may ask about the non associativity of the nand gate also and the second method to solve this could be we can use the truth table method also a b c I have taken the inputs okay i have to prove this okay i have to prove this to prove that i have taken the values here okay this one and this one next i have taken the abc values a plus b okay solved and entered all the values accordingly so this is my left hand side and this is my right hand side of the values of the expression see these two columns is it equal equal meaning each and every value must be equal here 0 0 equal is there here 0 but it is 1 so if any one value is not matching then it is not equal okay so this proves the non associativity of an not nor gate okay now let us consider the question number 1 c already the question number 1 b is already uploaded in the playlist you can check okay so the third question says with an example explain the working of an test bench in a verilog okay so here they are asking us to explain the working of a test bench you can take any example in in this case i have taken the full adder as an example okay first let us know the format of the test bench writing a test bench the format of a test bench is first we have to write the keyword module and the test bench name okay semicolon then we have to declare the inputs okay that is input declaration next output declaration next dut instantiation that is the design and the test okay that we have to do and we will have the three initial uh declarations we have to make okay so those are those three are in the first stage the initial is the keyword we have to use then begin in this stage we have to do the initialization of the inputs and the outputs okay next we have to end this by using the keyword end so this is the first part initial begin then initialization then end okay next in the second stage same initial begin here instead of initialization we have to give the variation for the inputs what we have taken here we can give the fixed values or we can give all the values in a loop okay and then again end keyword next in the third loop or in the third initial phase initial begin here we are you, we are monitoring the values okay what are the outputs we are getting so the command or the keywords what we use here is dollar symbol monitor and dollar symbol finish then end then end module this is the format to write the test case test bench of any verilog code okay i have taken a full adder to write the test bench okay so this is the block diagram of the full adder in a full adder we are having three inputs and two outputs the inputs are a b and c in whereas the outputs i have taken it as sum and carry okay so to write the test bench 
as i already discussed the format the first we should write the module and the test bench okay semicolon next what we have to write we have to write the input declaration see here next is we have to write the input declaration what are the inputs the inputs are a b c so the inputs are re declared by the keyword reg okay r e g inputs a b c in okay a b c in next next stage is output declaration see the next stage is output declaration so what are the outputs here sum and carry the outputs are declared by the keyword wire sum comma carry next dut declaration that is the design under test it is full ladder fa the format is sum carry comma these are the outputs next a comma b comma c in okay these are the inputs next next stage is we have to do the initialization of our inputs right so this is related to initialization that is our program starts with the letter sorry by the keyword initial begin what are the inputs we are having a b and c right so i am initializing this by a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 c in is equal to 0 these are all semicolons okay next i'll end my initialization stage next we'll start the variation stage in the variation again we have to start with the keyword initial begin okay this is the time delay i have specified here that is done next we have to specify the values okay in this uh, in this stage or in this case i have used the fixed values even we can use the loops also fine and this is the end of the variation stage okay from this to this this is the variation stage and then we'll start with the monitoring stage that is initial begin monitor what we have to monitor we have to monitor all the values inputs as well as the outputs what is the input a b c a b c c in sum and carry so we are monitoring it and finish and this end so this ends the monitoring stage and till here okay and end module you have to explain this in an examination you have to write this in an examination write the uh, code as well as explain okay this completes the question number 1a and question number 1c and question number 1b is already being uploaded in the video so please check the playlist if you find any difficulty in solving any problems then ask in the comment section otherwise you can message in the telegram group also i'll reply to you and so many uh, students are there even they'll also reply if you like this initiative hit the like button do comment your opinion and please share with your friends also okay thank you for watching happy learning and all the very best